Hello, my children. Welcome home. Welcome to my cozy, comfy room. Welcome to quarantine with me. I have kind of noticed this trend going back around YouTube recently, or maybe my algorithm's off. I actually have no idea. But um, I did this like a year ago where I answered or responded to your assumptions about me, and I thought it would be fun to do another one a year later and see um, if anything's changed, or I don't know, just for fun. I always wait for my coffee to get not so hot because I don't like drinking things that are like going to burn my tongue. I don't know why I feel like everybody else loves their coffee scalding hot. I don't. So I wait for it to cool down and then it ends up getting too cool and like now it's cold. So I'm drinking like mildly cold room temperature coffee. I'm just gonna go through as many of these as I can and respond, honestly. Somebody assumes that I love my body and that I'm really comfortable in my own skin. This could be a whole separate video. Um, obviously, like everybody, I have my own insecurities. I definitely have come a long way, I guess. Like when I was a teenager, probably like from 12 to 15 was probably when I was like the most insecure about my body and myself, um, but I would say that I'm I'm definitely pretty comfortable in my own skin, like not even physically, but just like who I am as a person. I feel like I'm pretty confident in myself and I'm not the type of person usually, I mean, obviously sometimes I'm like, you know, obviously I go with like trends and stuff like that, but I feel like I'm pretty confident to kind of just do my own thing and like forge my own path. But in terms of like, my body and stuff. I've come a long way, but I still have insecurities. There's still things that, um, you know, like I find myself comparing myself to other people sometimes too, and I have to like remind myself that's not good or healthy. But yeah, like everybody, I have insecurities. But I would say that I do love my body. There are days. Some days are better than others. <laughs> Someone assumes that I don't want to settle down and get married. I would say this was true for my whole teenage life. For a few years, I actually thought that I was never gonna get married. I thought that I just could not emotionally connect with people um, on that deep level. And I was just like, I don't know. I just felt like I wasn't gonna do that. I've also never really been kind of the person to like dream about my fairy tale wedding and like my wedding dress and my wedding day. It's definitely not something that has been, you know, like the biggest dream of mine. I do eventually see myself settling down and getting married and having a family. Uh, having a house and like a little farm with all my little animals. That is definitely like a very big goal of mine. Um, so yeah, I do want to settle down and get married, but just not right now. Someone assumes that I'm free people obsessed. It is my favorite brand. Uh, I guess it's just like whenever I go shopping at other stores, sorry, I keep touching my hair. I need to stop. Whenever I go shopping at other stores, it's always like, you know, I'll find a couple things that I like that I'm like, ooh, this is my style. I really like this. I can see myself wearing. And Free People is like the one store where I can pretty much go into their store or go on their website and there's like almost nothing that I wouldn't like or wouldn't wear. It's like everything on their website. I'm like, love that, love that, love that, love that, love that. I love it. It's definitely very pricey. Um, I've spent quite a few pennies on Free People, but I just love it. I also love the, I don't know, just the way that it fits me. It's like I always know that what I'm gonna get is usually going to be flattering on me. Somebody assumes that I often crave meat and dairy products. Oh my god, my rabbit just did the cutest thing ever. Oh, nice, adorable. Also, sorry, there's a huge trash truck outside right now, so if it's loud, I'm sorry. It's also raining and I'm right by the window, so if there's noise, I apologize. Yeah, so someone assumes I often crave meat and dairy products. I actually don't. I never crave meat and I never crave dairy. Um, like sometimes I'll crave like something cheesy, but it's just like I'll crave vegan cheese because I don't think of like eating real cheese because it's just like, it's like I haven't eaten meat or dairy in so long that to me, they could basically be the same thing as like plastic and wood. Like they're just, they're not like edible. Like when I see them, I don't think of them as food anymore, which is weird, I, just because I haven't eaten in so long. The one thing I do crave, though, is eggs. My boyfriend's like pescatarian, so he eats eggs a lot, and whenever I see him eating like a fried egg with like the yolk, I'm like, <laughs> that's literally the only thing I ever crave, so that's like not vegan. Someone assumes that I've always been a positive and happy person and I've never faced self-hate in my life. This is 100% not true at all. I would say I'm a pretty 
optimistic person. I don't know if that's necessarily positive. I'm pretty cynical, to be honest. Um, like I'm actually a pretty kind of cynical person, but I would say I'm pretty optimistic in certain situations just because that helps me cope with things. Like even with this pandemic situation, I'm like, everything's gonna be great afterwards. Um, and I just can't deal with people saying that it's gonna last a whole year because it makes me feel like I'm gonna go insane. Not a positive or happy person, always. <laughs> Obviously, I'm just, I have emotions, a range of emotions, just like everyone. I have good days, I have bad days. I have definitely faced self-hate in my life. Like I said in the beginning, um, I, like during my teenage years, all throughout middle school, hated myself. I literally, like envied all the popular girls. Um, I would wear two bras because I wanted to have big boobs. I wanted all the boys to like me. That was like my whole focus. I just, I hated my hair. I would straighten it every day. I just did not like myself at all. And I would compare myself to everybody. Definitely have had self hate in my life. Someone assumes that I have a loving family. I do have a very loving family. My parents are the best. They're like the most generous people ever. They're just so good to me and my brother and they are amazing. So I do have a very loving family. I have a very small family. Like I literally have three cousins, <laughs> but I have a very loving family. So I'm very fortunate to have that. Yeah. And then someone assumes that I have a lot of money. <sighs> If only you knew, <laughs> if only you knew. I don't, I do not have a lot of money at all. I'm on, I'm not in debt um, and I don't ever want to be in debt. That's one thing that I'm like, I, I don't have like student loans or anything. One thing that I have in my life, my goal is like, I never want to be in debt unless it's like, I have to take out a loan for business or something. I don't want to be in like personal debt, like credit card debt or anything, so. But I definitely do not have a lot of money, especially now that I moved out and I have to pay rent. So that's like where all my money goes. Also, if anyone was wondering, just because I want to be transparent, I don't know. I feel like I'm always curious. Um, I rent the master bedroom in a four bedroom house in San Diego County, North San Diego County. Uh, and the master bedroom is 850 a month plus utilities. So in case you're curious, that's... My rabbit is so cute, I cannot. Somebody assumes that I've tried shrooms. I have not tried shrooms before. Um, I have done LSD when I was 16 and that's the only psychedelic I've ever done and that was the only time I've ever done it. I haven't done it since and I haven't done any other psychedelics. So, kind of scared to do shrooms. I don't know if I really would want to do that. Someone assumes that I'd never thought that I'd be where I am today. That is true. I was talking to my boyfriend the other day about how this job that I have, like just being an influencer is the last thing I would ever think I'd become just because I don't know, like it just doesn't, I just would never think that I'd be this person, like be doing what I am doing, but I'm proud of myself and I think that uh, my younger self would be proud of who I am and where I am today. Someone assumes that I'm short and that I make a good amount of money and that my family has a lot of money. So we kind of already went over that, definitely. Uh, I am short, I guess. I'm on the shorter side. I am 5'3". I do kind of wish I was taller, but it's okay. Um, being short has its pros, definitely, especially when you're in an airplane, let me tell you. <laughs> Somebody assumes I'm not very clean on the outside, but I eat very clean. <laughs> Wait, that's hilarious. I would say I'm not, it's not that I'm not hygienic because I am. I like shower every day, brush my teeth. My room is very clean. Uh, I wear deodorant. I wash my face every day, like have a great skincare routine. It's not that I'm not hygienic. I just am not a germaphobe. I don't get grossed out about things very easily. It takes a lot for me to be grossed out. Um, and do I eat very clean? No, not like, I just eat a very balanced diet. I have my Ben and Jerry's and then I have my smoothies, you know, it's balanced. Someone, <laughs> ooh, I have to insert some photos. Someone assumes I've always been beautiful and I've never had an ugly phase. First of all, thank you for thinking I'm beautiful now. I think I'm going through an ugly phase as we speak. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, oh boy, I'm gonna show you some pictures. I have had an ugly phase. Very awkward horse girl phase. Insert photos here. <laughs> Someone assumes you can throw that shit back. Should I do a demonstration? We're not doing it, we're not going there. Someone assumes that I'm an annoyance. I mean, 
don't ask me. I can definitely be annoying. I'm definitely the ter ter per <laughs> definitely the type of person who constantly thinks and thinks that like my friends or my boyfriends are mad at me. I ask my boyfriend if he's mad at me like 20 times a day. <laughs> so that's annoying. Someone assumes that I have big dick energy. I don't really get it, but thanks. Someone <laughs> assumes that I'm a little gay, but in denial. I'm not, I'm sorry if you wish that I was. I feel like I get comments a lot that people think I'm bisexual or that I'm like secretly like girls, but I'm hiding it. I'm very, very on the straight side of the spectrum. I'm like open-minded because I'm just a very progressive forward-thinking person. I'm definitely straight. I'm, I like guys, unfortunately. Someone assumes you enjoy drinking, lol. Previous stories. Yeah, I do post some drunk, drunken escapades on my stories sometimes, if you've seen them. Yes, I do enjoy drinking, but so, Dirtle, what did I tell you? I do enjoy drinking just like the average person, I guess, but I would say like 90% of the time that I drink, um, it's like because I'm in a social situation and not necessarily because I want to. Not that I feel, look at him. Dirtle! Oh my god. Okay, not that I feel like socially pressured to and that I like have to, but it's just like sometimes I'm like, can't we just have fun without being drunk? But it's also fun to be drunk. So I do enjoy drinking. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, I guess like when I'm in my friend group or like with my boyfriend, I feel like I'm the person who doesn't want to drink as... When I do drink... We're just gonna skip this because I don't know how to explain it. I got a lot of assumptions that I have crazy sex, I'm kinky as fuck, and that I love sex. I'm not gonna deny any of these things, okay? So, oh yeah, so someone assumes that I'm very confident and that I know who I am and what I want. I, like I said, have a lot of insecurities still. Um, I actually, I go through phases where I'm like confident, I feel really good about myself, and then I go through phases where I'm like really insecure and I'm like, I want a nose job <laughs> or something. <laughs> Which doesn't equal being insecure at all. Like probably will get a nose job one day. And it's not because I hate myself, because I don't. And I actually like my nose. But there's nothing wrong with changing things about yourself. You can still love yourself and want to change. It's amazing that those two things can coincide. It's not a word. Someone assumes that I have everything figured out and that my life is perfect. That could not be further from the truth. My life is so not perfect. And um, I also have had like 50 breakdowns uh, in the past like week and a half, especially because of this pandemic. I'm not handling it well, let's just say so. My life's not perfect. I'm not perfect. I am often an emotional wreck. So there. Okay, so I hope you learned a lot about me from this video. I thought that was fun to answer. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel like you know me more and that we're really good friends. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!